Hello everyone, I am Torior and welcome back to Let's Play Europa Universalis 4 as the Timurids, or actually now the Mughal Empire. We're fighting Karakuyun and the Golden Horde. We basically took care of Kara already, but the Golden Horde is a serious enemy, and we're trying to lure them to attack us in the mountains. We'll see how that goes. For now I need to finish the sieges of uh, Kara. Okay, let's go and retake the Georgian capital, if possible. And try to maybe set up a defensive line. Go to Imerti, for example. Oh, crap. Okay, go to Kartli instead. Now we have taken Van. I can move here. Actually, I don't need that many troops here. We don't have siege value, so let's retreat you a bit. Right, truce expired. Yeah, I'll be able to start annexing you soon. Do we have good relations? Yes. Once the war is over, I'll start annexing them. Also, I need way more admin power. Unfortunately, my ruler is shit. Siege of Tabriz is over. Revolt in a subject doesn't concern us. So, now that we have occupied everything in Kara, I could sign a peace deal with them. What I want is these. So that uh, anyone... Well, no one else can take this stuff from us. But... If we can, I'll also try to take some stuff from the Golden Horde and feed our vassal, or other our march, Georgia. They are... Mm, they're loyal, aren't they? Georgia. <coughs> yeah, they're loyal. They are loyal. I won't, wouldn't give them much, also I'll let to take some territory for myself around here. Okay, so should I attack from one side only, or should I move here instead? Should probably only attack from one side because um, the Golden Horde has a lot of troops. We need to be cautious about this. And if we can prevent Georgia from getting too much war exhaustion, that would also be a benefit. Stay where you are for now. Can you move on from here? No. Oh, yes, you can. You can go to Terek. You might get attacked there. Let's make sure we're cautious. Oh! That changes everything. Muscovy is at war with the Golden Horde, so the Golden Horde is gonna die. That means I'm going to start grabbing territory. Yeah, I'm going to gra start grabbing territory right now. Just leave this sieging army and move everyone to this side. Oh crap, rebels again? Seriously? Iraqi separatists. Probably should deal with them first. Okay, let's attack. Boundary dispute. Claim on Sinja against Kayakuyunu. Yes, please! The claim is always welcome. Where's Sinja? Here. That's fine. We have taken Terek. Can I move on and take anything else? Oh, I clicked something away. Away. Astrakhan. The Muscovites will take it, but I will leave one unit just in case they end the war early. Kartli is now ours. Good. So I can split these guys up. Also, I have way too much cavalry, don't you think? I have a proper amount of cavalry, I just don't have enough... Oh, these will retake, be retaken on their own. I just don't have enough um, infantry. Yeah, let's go and take some territory. Muscovy, would you like to be my friend? You don't even know who I am, do you? Alright. <clears throat> let's take care of these rebels. Lost a quartermaster. Another infidel. I will lose piety. I want low piety. Low piety of being a smart person. A rather intellectually focused country, nah, whatever. Um, being tolerant increases our overall um, prosperity. We renewed the loan, which is unfortunate, but can't do anything about it right now. I might actually take some money from the Golden Horde. Go, take care of Kara. Oh, the rebels. Yeah, this is going well. This is done, I can now start moving towards the Golden Horde territory. There is a Golden Horde army, hopefully it will not be a danger to us. 
Let's, uh, oops. I clicked the wrong button. They might attack me soon. Actually, I, I should go through here, shouldn't I? This isn't necessary anymore. Or, or I'll just send half my troops there. Yep, yeah, you go north. You, the rest of you, with a different leader, go this way. Oops, we're under attack. I cannot win this one. When will you arrive? 11th. Can I run away? 13th, 11th, 18th, 11th, and 19th. How about here? 11th. You know what? Let's count on the fact that the 11th will actually mm, let me run away and the Georgians will take care of them. They will not. Well, we lost a battle and lost one army. Not a big deal. No Crimea took the just... Oh, whatever. We'll be fine. Siege of Astrakhan. Unfortunately, it went to Muscovy, but I will keep a unit here. Just in case Muscovy ends the war relatively soon. That is a few more sieges for us. You will go wherever you can. Okay. Uh, did I send anyone to Etkara? I did not. You can go there. Oh, I should go to Saratov. Ah, I have to go through here. That's fine. Let's go to Saratov. I want to hold the capital if possible. I actually did send someone to Etkara. You're going to Penza. That's fine. It's all fine. Right. Mm, let's continue. No, Kara, I don't want a peace deal with you yet. I want to deal with the Golden Horde first. Okay, Atkara is ours. Move to Penza. Did I get here first? Uh, my vassal got here first, which is good enough. Just don't want the Muscovites to take it. You will go... Hmm, I have no one in Tsaritsyn. I should have someone in Tsaritsyn. I don't need you in Penza. Go to Simbirsk instead. You go to Tsaritsyn, temporarily. <coughs> Tambuv is ours. Oh, can I move you to Kazan? Actually, I'll move you to Kazan. Maybe we can get there before Muscovy does. Not likely. But let's try it. Okay. Mm, you go to Samara. There are some gold mines around here. I don't remember where exactly. Right, you. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Regional noble challenges us. Mm. Local modifier, and they gain loyalty. Yeah, that's one, just one province like they. Yeah, let's take this. Well, we have high loyalty. I could use it for something. Yeah. I could use it to demand military support and get some military power for nothing. Or I could exploit the land maintenance modifier bonus that we temporarily get, which will increase our income, or rather decrease the spending on military. No, no, we'll probably forget to use it in time. So let's demand military support. And from Merchants Guild, I'm going to ask for contributions, maybe? Demand diplomatic support requires more influence. I could give them more influence, and then demand this. Okay, let's do that. Now demand diplomatic sp I cannot still? Wait a minute. Oh, I looked at the... No. Influence needs to be 25. Crap. It's too low. I need to give them something. I don't want to give them anything. Although, that's free mm, duple points. Okay, I'll just ask for money. Give me money. That's okay. Right. Hmm... You move. We'll take their capital, which will count for quite a lot. Uh, right, let's just split you into many, many units. And 
start taking all the provinces we can. Uh, I did leave one here already, didn't I? Yes. No one here yet, no one here yet. Here and here. Now what I'm going to do is set a unit to visit each of the provinces that are currently occupied by Muscovy so that when the war ends we can start sieging them immediately. Because I will wait for the war with Muscovy to end, probably, unless I can take whatever I want before that. Right, here we go, here we go. <clears throat> yeah, that takes care of almost everything. And the rest of you will support this siege up north. Right. All is well in the Empire. They've occupied no guy. Yeah, sure. I will send you to help the siege up north. Our manpower is fine and I can invest in military tech. Wonderful. Let's do this immediately. We can get a better cavalry. That will be... Oh, we had elephant archers all that time. Oh crap, I didn't even notice. Alright, no Kara, I don't want a peace deal yet. So what do we do? As ships. Oh, I even I forgot I even had ships. I had fleet maintenance on the whole time. The whole game the fleet maintenance was on and nothing was happening. Um you know what, I'll just mothboard you. When we have money I'll use this fleet to do other stuff. Also, it seems like I have too many forts. Maybe I'll destroy some after I take uh, Kara. Right. Oh, we lost a battle. We lost a battle. Not something I expected. There is a Golden Horde army that is still alive. That is weird to me. They shouldn't be alive anymore. Let's send all these guys so they don't get stupidly destroyed. Run away! Now, Golden Horde, how much are you willing to give me? You're willing to give me not much at all. I need to wait. Because I want to take advantage of this war. Delhi Separatists, oh. Wait a minute, Delhi is my capital. How come there's so much unrest? Oh, because I'm trying to convert it. You know what? Screw this. No conversions for you. Run away! You go elsewhere, please. And you should... Can I run through here? Uh, do you mind giving me access for a while? I need to run from the Golden Horde. Come on, give me access. Perfect. Run away! Yeah, they wiped my army. That's fine. That changes my plans a little bit. I will gather my troops back here and go destroy them. And by them I of course mean uh, the Golden Horde. Yeah, let's do that. Here. We can't let them retake our stuff, although Muscovy is coming to help. So maybe I won't need to fight after all. Yeah, I don't really want to convert anything. I might reduce war exhaustion. Hmm, Delhi revolt. Yeah. Very unfortunate, but we do have a fort here, so uh, taking care of this can wait a little bit. Let's first deal with the army belonging to the Golden Horde, and after this is done, I'll be able to go down and destroy them. Come on. Uh, I think we'll fight them together with Muscovy. That'll make it easier. Oh, Siege of Kazan is over and Muscovy took it. I'm fine with that. You're moving to no guy. Let's go there and destroy them. I have a better leader and better military tech. I think. Okay, perfect. Now let's deal with the rebels that have and that's rise up in our capital. 
Good. Now you take this, you take this. Moscovy will take them first, but it doesn't really matter that much. And yeah, because we'll wait for the war to end anyway. Mm, call for peace. Very unfortunate, but I need to wait for Muscovy to, you know, be out of the war. No, no, stop going there. Don't go there. Let's wait for them to leave. Now go. Yeah, there's a lot of... S oh, an army. Let's just go here for now. So did I select attached to me? No, but I want that attached to me. We've occupied someone. Oh, they have. Oh, I was wrong. So it doesn't really matter that much. I don't really care which provinces I take. Oh, Moscow is war with Uzbek as well. Interesting. I can deal with those two units with my one unit. Truce with Orissa. I even didn't even know we had a truce with Orissa. Oh right, we were an ally of our enemy. That's fine. Just need to go and destroy those rebels. We won a battle. That was a very, very small battle. Now I'm going to send half of you elsewhere. Right, we still have a lot of manpower, so this is fine. Golden Horde tribes, we could take advantage of this and take that from Muscovy once the tribes are done. Uh, right, Kara wants a peace deal, yeah. I guess I'll have to decrease war exhaustion. What if I just... Oh no! How could I have missed this? God damn it. Yeah, um, I'll deal with those rebels once I'm done dealing with mine. Here you go. Destroy them. We have no leaders, so it should be easy. We lost a lot of troops. How did that happen? Okay, now let's go deal with the rebels in Baghdad. And then move and retake this place. <coughs> okay, you help me here. Is Crimea allied to Muscovy? No, they're just fighting them on their own. They might be able to take some stuff. I wonder how long Muscovy will stay in this war when everything is occupied. Although Muscovy is also at war with... Uh, yeah, they're also at war with Uzbek, so they will probably stay in this war for quite a while. And I already do get called for peace. Good Lord, how willing are you to negotiate now? Well, you are willing. Not very much. Maybe when I take this fort, things will change a little bit. Alright, and now we have. Let's see. They're going to give me well, up to 50% war score. If I wait a little bit longer, they can give me up to 100, which of course is better. I think I will wait. I don't know how long Muscovy will keep this going, and it is quite crucial. I'll probably give this to Georgia to make them look nicer. Oh, I have free diplomats I'm not using for anything. That is a mistake. I should make sure that our relations are amazingly good, because I'm about to annex you. Actually, same here. Right. And one diplomat is free. I'll use him later. I mean, I need him free to sign peace deals and such. Come on, come on, destroy the rebels. Although, if I let them take Baghdad, that will lower my war score and let me stay in the war longer. Rebel uprising. Karakuri and the Pretender Rebels. Interesting. 2-2-1. Two, two, nope. He's shit. My guy is shit, but that guy is even more shit. Also, why do they want to rise up? Hila? Oh, Karakuri Rebels. Here. I was thinking of, you know, our rebels, of course. So, Muscovy, how about that peace deal? Are you interested in that? Probably not. We have destroyed the people um, rebelling in Baghdad. I guess I could move you north and then see what happens. Well, you retake that territory. Okay, how bad is the call for peace? Um, pretty bad. I can. 
probably enjoy for like a few months longer. Maybe a year, but probably not more than a year. Monetary reforms, lose stability, lose inflation, or gain inflation. Stability is very expensive for us, but let's see. 150 for one stability. Nope, inflation is cheaper. I will immediately lower it. Even though it costs admin power, the best power. Also, let's repay a loan. Okay, this is ours again, and we have 100% with Kara. Interesting. So, could I theoretically take stuff from you as well? Yes. Yes, I could. Maybe it is actually time to end the war. This is a lot of territory it wouldn't be taken. Although, hmm, what if I cancelled your relationships with people? No, I think I have to sign a peace deal. It's unfortunate, but kind of necessary. I'd like to reach Bashkiria and conquer them. So we will take these. And I think I want to give Terek to Georgia to make the borders prettier. So considering giving them Kuban. For now let's transfer it to Georgia and we'll see in a moment. Right, so let's see. Yeah, I need to sign a peace deal. I need these. So we can separate this part and reach Bashkiria that we will want to conquer. I want this. Oh, that's too much, is it? Okay, how about that? I guess I could leave this alone. Georgia doesn't need to be bigger. Okay, so if I wanted these, how many can I take? This is slightly prettier. Let's take that. Also, money. Fine. Mughals have grown. Uh, let us uh, deal with... Oh no, autonomy. Crap. Apparently it was increased already. Okay, and coring. This is very cheap land. Also, I think I should increase autonomy. No, no, we're about to take... Uh, Stuff from Kara. Let's see what our overextension is. Our overextension is 18%. Okay, Kara, could you know? Uh, I need to wait for my diplomat to come back. I guess I'll take uh, this guy back. It'll be faster. Super peace. What do we want? Well, we want these to stop any attempt. How much if I take everything? I cannot take everything. Okay, let me see the, um, which of those are in a state of mine. South Kurdistan. Um, let's see the states and the, and the regions map mode. States and territories map mode. Uh, none of your stuff is in my states. So don't need to worry about that. Okay, so let's take strategic things. Also, let's see the religious map mode. Uh, this is Shia, this is Coptic. Interesting. Coptic is actually better for me. Hmm. Okay, clear the offer. I'll take Baghdad, obviously. I'll take Sinjar, we have claims on that. Actually, what if I just take all of the southern bits and Van? Maybe Yerevan as well. Yeah, that looks good. They would have Tabriz left only. Do I want that? Kinda. How much aggressive expansion is that? John Poor and Delhi could join the coalition. Mm, that is. Not nice, because I want to attack Delhi. Tabriz. Do I want to take that much territory? And the answer will be probably yes. How much money do you have? Mm. 293 to core. Couldn't core everything. This will cost 162. Yeah, okay, let's do this. We're growing. Okay, we have a fort in Baghdad now. Seems like I don't need a fort in here. Let's destroy it. And we are separated from the Ottomans and Mamluks with some forts, which is fine. Let's go to the autonomy map mode now. Oh! Why is the revolt risk so low here? Ah, probably because it used to be mine. I mean, it was, it was mine all the time. I shouldn't increase it there, then. Can't increase it here. Oh, we'll have some rebel trouble soon. 
And now I'm going to almost immediately declare war on Delhi before they can band together with anyone. For that reason, I will need this diplomat back, quickly. I should have prepared for this. We're not horribly overextended, but we are overextended a lot, by a lot. Yeah, and I cannot keep coring because I don't have admin power. We'll be okay. If there are any rebels, I can destroy them. Come on, everyone, let's go back here. Also, I don't need these forts to be up. Just want them to exist. So I should probably give back that to an estate. Make it a state as well. Um, not right now. Delhi, can I declare war on you now? I can, but first I'll start annexing you. Let's wait for the diplomat to return, and then we declare war on Delhi. Conquest, yeah. Take everything. For myself. Don't you get any funny ideas, Vassal? Let's go. And also, I don't need these forts active, because they're not going to travel all this way. Right. On our way. I wonder if my vassal will cause any trouble. I hope not. Oh, I didn't select all my troops. I should have selected all my troops. Yeah, let's make sure they don't get it. I need it for myself, because if I own it, I'll get 400 admin power. So even if it causes some aggressive expansion, it is imperative that I take it. So what we'll do is detach one unit to be sent to each of those provinces. Actually, you have a claim on one of those, right? On this one. Yeah, you go to Kashmir. I can't let anyone else take it. I'm going to split you guys apart as well. Uh, don't attach. Don't attach. Okay, you go here and you go here. And you go here. Well, the main army gets ready to destroy them in Lahore. There's a lot of rivers, so there will be terrain penalties. Also, I need to wait to core all those things before I can take anything else. So that will be slightly problematic. Oops. God damn it. He, was, he wasn't leading an army, though. He wasn't leading an army, was he? Just lost to stability. As though he was leading an army, but I think he was a general, but not in charge of an army. Which makes me slightly angry. God damn it. That's annoying. Well, I did want him to die. And the Regency Council is better than him. So that's good, at least. Oh well. Admin power is not. <laughs> we're not too. Well, we're not doing well on admin power. That's all I'm gonna say. Okay, did we destroy them? Yes, we did. All right. Detach a siege, return. And now we wait. Hopefully not get a call for peace, because I need to core stuff, I need to increase my stability, and also I need to have points to core the things I'm going to steal from them. Hmm, there's too many of you here. Don't attach to me anymore. Let's get out of here. Oh, well, shit. Not too nice. I'm going to reduce war exhaustion because rebels will kill me if I don't. At least we are not getting a uh, call for peace. And again, I forgot to end the episode. <laughs> um, before we do, well, that's multiple older forts, though. Okay, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little video, and I will see you again tomorrow. Goodbye.